Hi, I'm Rob Cosman. Welcome to my shop. In my video, Rough to Ready, I explain the process of taking a rough board and dimensioning it so that it is flat, smooth, and square on all six surfaces. In that video, we introduce something called winding sticks. May or may not be familiar to you. We now sell them on our website, but I wanted to take a second to explain to you a little more about what they're for and some of the features on the ones that we sell. My winding sticks are made out of a dark hardwood, straight grained. You want these to be as stable as possible. In this case, these ones are made out of Paduke. Now mine are shaped narrow at the top, wide at the bottom. It keeps them a little more stable in their upright position, which is the using position. You'll also notice that they have a white dot in the center of each. And that's just so that when you set it on the board, you can now only have to judge the center of the board, not the center of the winding stick as well. The rear stick, has two white corners. Now, by the way, this white is Corian. The reason I use it, it stays brilliantly white, so it's easy to see. When you set this stick on the back, and the forward one up here, as the craftsperson sights down the top edges of the two, they'll either see the same amount of white or a different amount. If it's different, obviously there's some wind or twist, and the winding sticks have exaggerated that, and then you'd go in with your plane and make those corrections. As I mentioned, the video Rough to Ready covers all of that. My sticks, when I make them, I soak them in oil for about 24 hours, so the finish is pretty durable. They are made out of wood, which means they may not be stable forever, and occasionally you may have to true them. It's usually a minor job. I have two dowels, one on either end, and corresponding holes in the opposite piece. So when I'm done with mine, I just put them together. It's going to help keep them straight. Winding sticks will improve the accuracy of your work. They're critical if you want to flatten a bench. In fact, in my... Uh, hand tool workshop that I teach, we actually show students how they can spot a thousandth of an inch. Pretty incredible to think that you can get that accurate with hand tools. I'd encourage you to either make your own winding sticks or get a set from us, but employ them in your work and you'll see it improve. I hope you enjoy your woodworking.